All right, guys, welcome to bar. My name is Jenny and it's good to see you guys on. Today you're going to need a bar or a chair and um, a mat. So it'd actually be good if you're on the edge of your couch or your chair. Okay, I don't know what that was. That was not cute, whatever that was. Ugh. Okay. Ah. All right, hopefully we're all back. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. I think that was, who knows. Okay, cool. All right, so you just need, you just need your mat, you just need your chair. We're gonna get going. Here we go. <laughs> Dear Lord, please, no more technical difficulties. Hopefully that was it. All right. All right, here we go. Whew. All right, go ahead and just start. You can have one hand on your bar, one hand off, roll your shoulders back. Good. We're going to start with just some figure eights here. So knee drops in, knee drops side. Just kind of warming up those hips. Good. Make sure that you're lifting out. Keep that core nice and up. Yes. Good. Warming up those hips. We're just going to jump right in today. Good. Breathe. Nice. You got it. Awesome. Few more. Good. Almost there. Awesome. All right. And then if you do have a chair that moves, maybe move it so it's out of like a diagonal to you so you can just hold on to this and use the edge of your chair or your couch. So if you don't have um, an edge, you can always just have your foot lifted. Otherwise, put it here. Good. And if, you're, if your um, chair back is only like hip height, go ahead and just hike that leg over your, over your chair back. Yes? So just lifting right here, little lifts, breathe. And you want to think about like engaging your core to make that lift instead of using your hip flexors. So see if you can do that. Just engage your core. Good, keep going. <laughs> All right, hopefully that's good. Let's put the pause button and we'll try again. Is that better? Maybe. All right, nothing over here. Oh man, I wish I wouldn't do that. Audio settings, give me five seconds, we'll fix this. All right, speaker headphone, sound system, and switch. Yeah, I know, right? It might just have to be that way. Speakers. I'll change it one more time and then we'll give it a go. Great. All righty, here we go. You guys just might have to dance to the music in your head. All right, here we go. Core in, little lifts. Remember, trying to lift really from that core. Good, breathe. Nice. Awesome. Remember, if you don't have a chair, you can also do this without touching down. Good. Now we're going to just up our game here. We're going to take it back to an arabesque. So you're going to lift it off, take it back and out. Knee up, tap. Good. And back. So remember, if you don't have anything to put your foot on, you can always just bring your leg right here. Yes. And back. Now you can go at that 90 degree angle or you can go down at more of like a 45. Whatever is better for you, you know. Good. Awesome. Keep going. And back. And up. Cool. Awesome. Here we go. 
and in, and back, and up. You got it. Knee up. Good. Back. Now, if you want, you could do this double time or really just work through it. Good. All right. For the last few, see if you can stay a little more lifted. Good. Instead of face planting onto your bar. Nice. Few more. Famous last words, right? Good. Three more. Three. Bringing that knee up. Two. And one. Good. All right. Knee is going to be bent into our coupe here. So towards the back of your ankle or calf. Good. And lift and lower. Lift and lower. So knee is out to the side a little bit here. And knee stays bent. We're not straightening that leg like we have sometimes. Good, breathe. Nice. Good. So remember, roll your shoulders back, stay lifted, engage your core, yes? Nice. Good, all right, leg out to attitude. So attitude to the back looks like this. So just taking it to the side, you almost could like make this parallel, like you could put a plate here. But remember, you can always be a little bit lower if you need to be, it's kind of just wherever you're at today. Good, here we go. Behind you and side, behind you and side. Now, if you want, come all the way through and touch that bar, yes? So it should be about hip height. We just wanna make sure that our, our foot isn't sinking down like this, right? Try to keep it level, even if your level is further down here. Good. Abs are up and engaged. Good, you got it. Try to stay nice and lifted. It will, we're gonna, it's really working on your back today. Yes, and your bum. So if you feel it creep up in your back, that's where you're supposed to feel it. Now, if you have back problems in the past, feel free to keep it nice and low. Otherwise, let's go ahead and strengthen our back here. Good. Awesome, leave it behind you. Little lifts here. Again, try to stay lifted up out of that chair. Core is engaged. Pull your belly in, good, breathe. Woo! Should be getting warm. All right, we're gonna combine the two. Here we go. Pull it back and lift. So that knee bend that you have stays. So you're not thinking about getting your heel closer to your bum. You're thinking about moving that whole hip on that rotation that we had earlier. Little lift, here we go. Good. Few more. Woo! All right, shake that out. Ah, oh, prance it out a little bit. 
Just work through those legs. Excellent, move your chair back so that it's not at that weird angle. We're gonna do some grand plies, all right? Feet nice and wide, hand can be on your chair. So down and lift up. So we're gonna relevate, heels off the ground. Here we go, down and up, down and up, good. Down and up, one more, just at that pace, down, and up. Now you can stay at that pace or go down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. You got it. Down and up. Fully relevating off those heels if you can. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, stay down, here we go. Heels lift and lower, lift and lower. Now, if you want, you can be here. Yes. If you need to step in a little closer, I don't think it'll really help you with the, getting those heels off the ground. You'll really notice it more when our feet are together or when you're down here. You can always do one heel at a time also, totally an option, but we're hanging on, so you should be pretty sturdy. Good. Heels lifted or down, little pulses. Good. We're gonna add a little bounce. Up, all the way. Good, down. So just finding some buoyancy. So it's like what we were just doing, except we're adding a little bit of a lift, not as articulating through. So in an ideal world, if you really wanted to, I don't like to jump without shoes on personally, but you can make it into those nice jumps or you can keep lifting with me. It'll get your cardio up really high if you add in that jump. But if you're in it for the no impact, then don't do the jump. Good, and you're done. Whew. Oh, breath should be up a little bit, breath. Heart rate should be up a little bit, especially if you added in those jumps. Good. All right, heels together, arm out to the side. Here we go. Plie, releve. Plie, releve, good. Plie, releve, plie, releve, good. Plie, releve, plie, releve. You got it. Down and up. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Awesome, you got it. Few more. Good. All right. So for these heel lifts, you're going to try to make your head not move. Yes? So just your heels. Good. Breathe. You got it. Have to make sure I breathe quieter so I don't blast you guys out now. I teach yoga so I can be a pretty loud breather sometimes. It's good. I just need to make sure everyone else is breathing. Awesome. Remember trying not to let that head go up and down. Good, heels lifted, pulse. Now remember, you can always be pulsing right here or those heels are lifted. Good. Remember, make sure you're still tucking your tailbone under. We're not sticking our butt back, right? Good. Your hand can be out to the side, can be right here. This is the traditional spot for it or right here. 
We're not in leotards, we're doing fitness, so we can put our hand right here. Awesome, Woo! heels down. All right, so we have those little jumps, yes? So again, if you're following me, you're just gonna lift your heels up off the ground. You're just gonna find a little more buoyancy than we had in that first movement. If you wanna get that cardio in, so take jumps, go. I'm gonna go back to the heel lifts. See how I still have that same buoyancy? I'm just not leaving the ground. Good, breathe. Should still be getting your heart rate up even if your feet aren't leaving the ground. You have a few more. Awesome, let it go. Whew. Ah, nice. Okay, go ahead and move your chair to the other side or turn yourself around. So that set wasn't very long, just remember that. So um, if you don't turn your chair around, you won't be facing the back of the room for forever, okay? Almost turned around, face the back. All right, those figure four with your knees. Knee in, knee out. Knee in, knee out. Good. Use this time to catch your breath. Good. Nice. Arm can be out to the side if you'd like. Try to stay lifted. Nice and tall. Lift from your collarbones, lift those abs in and up. Good. You got it. Just really working through that hip. Good. You got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Turn your position yourself or your chair more at that diagonal so you can reach your foot up there. Of course, if your chair back isn't this high, just go ahead and hike your leg right over the back of that chair, like if you got a folding one. Good. And remember, if you don't have this option, you can always just let this foot hover. Yes? Roll your shoulders back. Engage your abs to pick that foot up off the chair. Good. So the good thing about the chair is if your leg doesn't naturally hang out this high, you got that chair right there. You can ooh, lift it off. Yeah. Just kind of using it as like a little bit of a prop. Good. Finding a little bit more of that lift because sometimes for some of us, we can't really keep our knee up here to do this, right? Good. Especially for as many reps as we're doing. Engage your abs. Try to use your abs more than your hip flexor. Make sure that you're still staying lifted out of that standing leg. Good. Breathe. You got it. I just like to keep my hand on my core because it just helps me remember to engage it, to lift my leg. Otherwise I start using my thigh and my hip flexor more than my abs. It's kind of weird to get the hang of it when you first do it. So cut yourself some slack. If you're like, I'm not feeling the core engaged a lot, you'll figure it out. But it may not be the first time you try this one. Good, you got it. I'm still warm from those jumps, man. We weren't even doing it that long. Good, breathe. A few more. Good, woo, all right. I feel like I already need to like pedal out my feet, but first, all right. So your foot is on here. Bend that knee, take it back, arabesque, yes? And bring it up and in. Take it back. So remember, if you need to, you can come at that 45 degree angle or anywhere in between. Otherwise you have that 90 degree angle or higher. You can go higher if you like, if you have that flexibility, right? But no need. You go as high as you'd like. Challenge yourself, but don't hurt yourself. Yes? How do you know if you're going too far? You don't breathe whenever you do it. That means you're going too high, right? If you're like, 
That's not a really nice noise. Don't do it. Good. So maybe you were rocking a lot to get that leg up. See if you can just almost like you're pressing into the bar instead of holding on to the bar. You're like pressing it away, keeping that chest nice and lifted, abs engaged. Good. Nice. Remember, if you've had back issues in the past, maybe come down here. Otherwise, continue to strengthen your back by going high as you can so you don't have back problems. Good. Make sure you're breathing. No death grip, right? Abs are in and up. Good, you got it. That knee is gonna come a little bit out to the side as it goes back. Instead of going down and back, see if you can take this knee like out to the side and back, yeah? Good. Remember, knee out to the side and back. Don't swing through. Good. Try not to nose dive into that bar. Stay nice and lifted. Good, few more. One more. Good, find coupe. So to the back of your calf or your ankle. Good, leave that bend in your knee as you lift and down. Same thing here, you can just lift right here. You don't have to go crazy high, otherwise go as high as you like. Squeeze your bum, protect your back when you lift up. Good, breathe. Nice, breathe. Stay lifted, remember no nose diving, <laughs> don't do that. Stay nice and lifted, shoulders down, chest lift. Good, breathe. I'll pause so you can turn your chair, but if you can turn it while you're moving, go for it. Good, Woo. lucky you, you get a break. All right, move your chair back to, or move your body back to being right behind your chair if you had at that diagonal. Good, all right, same leg, lift it up, pulses, here we go. Pulse, 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 pulse. Nice, remember you can pulse right here. Just make sure it's a challenge for you, yeah? And trust me, I mean, that's the good thing about bar. We do enough repetitions, it's gonna get tiring no matter how high or how low your leg is. So no stress. You're still gonna get a good workout. Good, belly in. All right, on that attitude. So remember right here, you're either here or you're here. doesn't matter. Pick a level, good. Nice side to side. Now, if you want, come all the way through, tapping that chair. Yes? Still keeping that chest nice and lifted. Now, you will have a little bit of a forward lean, right? But we won't be down here. Good. Now, no, if it does creep up in your back too much, having that lean will take some of that pressure out of your back and put it into your shoulders. Good, you got it. A few more. I know, that standing leg is telling you how it feels. <laughs> At least mine is. <laughs> Try to let those shoulders drop down. Breathe through it. All right, take it back. So this time, whew, I need to I need to step it out. All right, here we go. So you're gonna lift and then your whole unit's going back. Yes, lift and back, lift and back, lift and back, lift and back. Good. Whoa, my leg is shaking. Too much coffee, not enough carbs. All right, whew. 
Good. Breathe. So you'll notice I'm really leaning forward on this because I'm struggling. If you can, try to be up here. Oh, try it. Good, you got it. Ah, oh, go. One more. Oh my gosh. Okay, step it out. Whoo, prance it out. Ah, regain your composure. Life is good. Ah. Beautiful. Good. Oh, just work through it. Let those legs come back to life. Excellent. All righty. We're going to come back to those grand plies. Woo, here we are again. Ah, all right, ready? Arm out. I'm like, I'm so not ready, but here we go. Ready? All right, down. Down. Raise up. All the way off those heels if you can. Down. Raise up. If you don't like it, just raise up. Don't lift those heels off the ground. Good. I want you to feel nice and lean and long and tall after this. So if something doesn't feel good and it's just stressing you out, modify it. Yeah? I want you walking away from here feeling nice and confident. Good. Nice. Ah, so many of these. So this is really getting this muscle right here, our quads, which is on top of our knees. We strengthen that and then there's less pressure on our knees. So if your knees really hurt, it's probably because your quad strength is not what it should be. So now you know what to work on when you go to lift at the gym. We're also, doing that right here. Yes, good. It really helps if you can releve to get that quad engaged. Good, last one. Excellent. Find a little bit of bend in that knee. So before we can do them here, right? Or if you want, you can be here. Remember, you can always do one at a time. Otherwise, both at a time, we're just gonna knock it out. Sometimes we're like, 10 here, 10 here, and then we do like so many. We're just going straight into it. Told ya. It's just one of those days, we just gotta keep growing. Good, breathe. Less buildup though, yeah. Good. All right, breathe. Woo -hoo. All right, we're gonna do those saute jumps. So remember, if you're like me and you're like, you know, leaving the ground without shoes on, not really my jam, then don't leave the ground. Otherwise, you have those itty bitty jumps off the ground. So what does it look like? It looks like those grand plies that we were just doing except you're taking your arm out of the equation. So arms are here and you're just lifting, heels off the ground, heels off the ground. Now, if you want, you can do full jumps. Toes leave the ground a little bit. Nice soft landing, yeah. Good, breathe. Remember, you can be right here. Just my heels leaving, yeah. You can even still hold on. Good, do more. Awesome, let it go, woo. Ay, ay, ay. All right, here we go. Heels together. Plies and up. Here we go. Plie, rise up. Plie, rise up. Plie, rise up. Remember, knees need to go in the same direction as your toes. Just look down. It doesn't matter if they go over the top of them because our butt's not going back, right? If I turn side, see how I'm going straight down and straight up? I don't want to do this. Yes? Good. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> if 
few more. You got it. All right, heels down. So remember, whew, you can just bend and straighten if you don't like those releves because your feet, some people have foot issues, then you can just do those knee bends. Otherwise, roll your shoulders back, lifting your heels one or both at a time. Here we go. Good. Remember, try not to go up and down on this one. Good. Good, you got it. So notice how you might end up like up here. Try to stay low. Good. 10 more, 10, nine, eight. Are you staying lifted? Is this engaged? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we didn't do those pulses, but I think you guys are gonna survive. All right, so Tay jumps, here we go. So remember, you're just finding a little bit of like fluidity in that movement, yeah, that we were doing earlier. So you can be right here, leaving your toes on the ground, just like boop, boop, with those heels, yeah. Okay, you can also take both hands off if you want. Add that little leave of the ground. Good, go. Whatever you're doing, chest is nice and lifted, shoulders are down your back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Good. We're going to do the saute jumps or heel lifts. And we're going to do out and in, just combining those two. This won't last forever. So if you're breathing heavy, See if you can just wait to get water till after this so you don't like bounce around. And then I will also get water, okay? All right. So lift, 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 lift. Lift, up, lift, and up. Lift, and up, lift, and up. Getting those heels off the ground. Yes. Adding in those arms. Now, if you're doing the saute jumps, you can just jump in and out. Yes. Otherwise, you're in and out. Good, let it go. Woo. Shake out those feet, find your water. Let your heart rate come down a little bit before you try to take a drink. Buddy. I feel like sometimes when we do cardio and bar, it really takes me by surprise. All right, you can move your chair around or not, it's up to you. So, whoo, breathe it out. Here we go, feet are nice and wide. We're just gonna take some nice stretches, ready? Knee bends, reach and back, reach and back. Just letting your heart rate come down a little bit before we drop it down to the mat. Good, breathe. A few more. Hey, we're stretching. Inadvertently, we're also getting a lunge in. How's that? You're like, oh no, I was totally aware I'm lunging. Five more, five. And four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it out. Whatever you gotta do. Modern ballet. You know, here we go. Other side. Reach and in. Reach and in. Now, if you really want to work on some of that, oh, I don't know, grace and beauty, whatever you want to call it. So the elbow goes up and elbow comes in. Arm reaches up. Look towards your hand, yes? Look away, like there's something beautiful. Ah, oh, my hand, so nice. Ah, yes? You should really be thankful for your hands. They do quite a bit for you. Just take a moment to be like, yes, you do. Good. 
Five more. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it out. Do a little dance. Oh, all right. Working on your arms just a little bit. Hands are out. Flex your fingers. So my fingers are, sorry, spread out. You can't see. There you go. And then I'm just turning my hands down. We're just going to pull side to side. Do whatever you want. Breathe. So just up and down, pulsing up and down, stepping side to side. Now, if you want, just stand in place. But if your heart rate's still high, this will help your heart rate continue to come down. Okay. Good. To the front, press forward. Good. If you have hand weights, you can like totally run and grab them and join me on this. Your arms will get tired doubly fast. Okay, and my heart rate's kind of coming down, so I'm just going to come to a sway here. Eventually, I'll come to stillness, maybe. But kind of just wherever you're at, whatever feels good here. Might also distract you from your hands if you're moving. It does for me. Good. All right, let's get some of those triceps in our back. So I'm just going to try to squeeze those thumbs together. You can have a slight forward lean here. Good. Really flex through those hands so you're really engaging your arms even more, especially if there's nothing in your hands like me. You can even come to squeezing your fists. Good. Ah, nice. Good. A few more. Seconds, that means. Awesome. Circles. Here we go. Again, you can have weights in your hands. I just don't today. So I'm squeezing my fist. So I'm really engaging my arms, squeezing my fist to make it harder. All right, reverse your circle. Here we go. We got some good abs coming down the pipe. Awesome. Sweet. All right, I'm just going to move my chair out of the way. I'll meet you on the ground. We'll finish here. So if getting up and off the ground is not your uh, forte, no worries. You only got to get down there. I mean, you'll have to get up one day, but you know what I mean. All right, here we go. Whew. All right, so just your typical abs we're going to start with. They're just, they might look different depending on, you know, your instructor or whatever. So go ahead and let those knees come up. So they're at a 45 degree angle. Make sure they're not into your chest too much more. They're more like right here, yeah? Good. And those toes are gonna tap down. Let your hands come behind your head. Good, tap down and up, tap down and up. So this shouldn't be too hard. The hardest part should be trying to keep your back on the ground. Oh, you notice your back is coming off the ground a lot. That's where you need to engage your abs. Really use your abs here. Tapping those feet down on the ground. And the further, the closer you tap in, the easier it will be. The further out on your mat that you tap, the harder this will get. Yes? So you really just want to be mindful of your back. Wherever your back is raising off the ground a lot, you need to bring those feet tapping closer to your bum. Or learn to engage your abs more so that you so that you can tap further. But until you have that engagement, you know, you just, you gotta be where you gotta be. Good. And then this is maybe the only time that instructors will let you take your elbows up by your ears is for the C-crunch. Otherwise, normally, you know, you want your elbows to be as wide as possible. But for the C-crunch, you're gonna let those elbows come up by your ears. So crunch in, elbows can touch your knees and back down. In and down, in and down. Good, go. Make sure you're still not pulling on your head. Those hands are still going nice and wide whenever you lay down. Good.
few more. Good. All righty. Let those legs come up long. Hands can stay behind your head. Excellent. And lower them down and back up. Good. Only going as far as you can before your back really starts to lift off the ground. So maybe you can go all the way down and back up. Remember, you don't need to be on beat with me because your legs may only go travel like you know, to the two o'clock hour, if you're on a clock, and that's fine. Even if I only do two o'clock, even though I can go all the way down flat on the ground, I'm still getting some pretty good ab engagement just right here. So you kind of pick the one that works for you. Good, all right, bend your knees. Toes are gonna be on the ground and you're gonna take one arm. We're gonna do all one side to begin with. Go ahead and take those toes around to the corner of your mat. Good, and you're gonna try to reach for your ankles and then extend at an angle. Ankles back down, extend. Reach, extend. Reach, extend. Reach, extend. Good, reaching for those toes. So your, your toes are coming to the edge of your mat here. Ten more. Two, one, good. Switch out your arms and slowly go to the other side. So your toes are gonna go to the edge of your mat to meet your hand and then across. Yes, feet are together. Little bit of oblique action here, yes? Good. Nice, should feel nice and pretty. <laughs> Good. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, good, whoo, good. All right, legs are just lift off the ground. Again, you don't wanna be knees into your chest. At most, they're at this 90 degree angle, okay? And then you're doing some hip swivels. You're just gonna reach for those toes. So you'll have some oblique action going on here as you reach, but your hips are also swiveling, yes? Keep breathing. Good, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, other side, here we go. Good, you got it. Letting those hips swivel. Also reaching with your obliques. Woo. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lay it down. Woo, good, let it go, excellent. Go ahead and sit on up to your side, good. Woo, all righty, we're gonna come into plank. I was gonna do the side first, but we're gonna do planks, regular planks first. So 
your elbows are underneath your shoulders, lifting those hips up off the ground. You can leave your knees on or you can take your knees off. Just make sure you're engaging your abs. You really wanna press through the middle of your back. Like you're trying to press your spine up to the sky so you're not sinking down into those shoulders, yes? Good, breathe. So two things here. One, if it's really like, you really struggle to keep your back straight, you just wanna like dip like a cow. <laughs> That's a really bad image, but like sway back, you know? Then drop your knees to the ground. You can still work on engaging your abs here plenty. I was not the smartest person. I already did five minutes of planks this morning. So I'm gonna hang out on my knees right now. Breathe. Good, all right, let that go. Roll over onto your side to face me, whichever direction you're facing. doesn't matter, we have two sides, right? Good. All right, for this one, knees can be on the ground or you can be in full side plank, up to you. Good. So keep this hand on the ground. We're gonna do hip dips, down and up, down and up. If you really wanna challenge yourself, you can always take your hand to your hip. Otherwise, just keep that hand there. Remember, you can still do dips if you're on your knees, lifting those hips off the ground. Good. Beautiful. Good. All right. And then from there, we're going to add in that twist. Yes. So again, you can do this on your knees. You can add in that twist, even if you're on your knees. Otherwise, feet are long, side plank, ready? Here we go. Twist and up, only 10 of these. Good. Seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, great. Whoo, go ahead and make yourself off that elbow. Nice, do our nice little mermaid stretch here. So feet are just out to the side, reaching over. Good. Now, if you're like, that doesn't work out for me, just grab onto your leg and use it to pull yourself side, however side you wanna go. Good. Awesome. And then you're gonna find plank. I would suggest just doing your knees so you don't like jam your butt on the ground and lifting up right here. Yes, lowering back down, stretching over. So getting a little bit of strength with our stretch as well. Good. Reach and reach, reach and reach. Good. Reach and reach, reach and reach. Good. Now, if you want, you can also do full plank here. You got two more. Good, one more. Ah, uh, one more plank. Good. Just go ahead and walk yourself on over. Whew, good news. Only side planks, we're not doing regular planks again. Huzzah. All right. So remember this hand is right here. If you wanna make it harder, go ahead and put your hand on your waist. Remember you can do knees or your feet out, yeah? Lifting with hip dips. Here we go. Down and up. Nine, eight, seven, six. You choose five, four, three, two, and one, good. Lower down. Remember you have your weaves now. You can do these on your knees or you can do them on your toes. Arm up, hips up, here we go. Down and lift, down, up. So just weaving, your hips aren't going down and up, sorry. Four and five, five more, five, four, Three, two, and one. Excellent, lower down. Find your nice little mermaid stretch here. 
again, remember if this is like not like fun for you, just grab onto this leg. You can even lean away. Otherwise, lean up and over. Good, breathe, stretch. Good, all right. So remember that we're gonna have this reach. Leave your knees on the ground and lift your hips up. Or if you want, come into full plank on those, yes? Reach, I'm gonna try to go a little bit slower so you can really find that if you wanted it. Good. Ah. Good. I think I'm actually, yeah, that feels best. One leg extended, that's gonna be my sweet spot. You take the one that you want though. If you want a more challenging, both feet out. Or you can do both knees in, it's up to you. Ooh. Three more. Three, good. Uh, two, one more. Here we are. Excellent. Woo. All righty. Go ahead and take those legs around to the front. Find your, what is this? Cobbler's pose, butterfly and dance, we called it. That's because we did this. Science has told us, stop bouncing your knees. So I guess we'll act like grown ups and we won't bounce our knees. Uh, lean forward if you want. Or you can just be here trying to really pull your feet up so that your knees go down closer to the ground. I don't care. Stretch what you need to stretch. Good, breathe. Oh man, so tight. All right, one leg out. You can flex your foot or you can point it. I, again, don't care. I'll tell you, um, it's just a dancer thing to point your toe all the time. It really like, it stretches your foot so that you can do that more. But in reality, you're gonna get a deeper stretch through your leg if you flex it. So if you wanted to know, now you know. Good, Alrighty, Take that other leg out. Literally just pick it up, bring it in. Doesn't have to be fancy, good. And you don't have to, if you don't reach your toes, just grab anywhere along your leg so that you can like traction yourself closer to your leg. Rather than like some people I see them like extend their hand out like, oh, my toes are so close. Just grab somewhere along your leg so you can pull yourself closer to your leg. Nice. Good, we are gonna take a little twist here. So foot is in, you can leave it right here or put it right here. Push, put this hand behind you. Now, if you wanna stretch your glutes more, which I suggest because we just worked them a lot, you're just gonna hug that knee in the crick of your elbow or hold onto it with your hand. You'll still get a good twist here, but it'll get more into your glutes than it would be if you hooked your elbow out here, yes? But again, if you had a crazy, what is that, Monday night? Or you're already having a crazy Tuesday. I realize there's a lot going on today. You can wring out some of those toxins in your body, which can be there because of stress, not just, you know, other substances. Good, unstack your legs and cross it around. Take this arm behind you so you can sit up nice and tall, roll those shoulders back, and then go ahead and hook, hug your leg. You can also remember, you can just hold on to your leg with your hand if it doesn't end up in your elbow, yeah? Good, just really pulling that knee closer into your torso. That's gonna get you that nice glute stretch that you're looking for. Excellent, and then just release that. All righty, guys, you're all set. 
Whew. All righty. Let me, oh no. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, so then you're all done. If you can try to log on, even if it's only for like 20 minutes, if you don't have enough for the whole class, it just helps the class be able to continue to provide it to you. So um, just log on, just to keep it going. If you um, can't make it one day, and we'll all be happy campers doing bar together. All right, hope you guys had fun and I will see you later. The sun is ridiculous. I'll take your questions.